Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Look. Jesus Christ. <sighs> the mainstream comic book industry, as we all know, have done plenty to push their not-so-gay agenda. They've been desperate to push their inclusivity and diversity, which of course masks tremendous amounts of misery and, and hatred towards white men and, and all of this. We've been through it time and time again we've seen beloved characters sexuality change race changed all of this jazz to again push their narrative even though it doesn't make any sense whatsoever and attempt to get a headline in a mainstream media which is in full support of what they do because they're all indoctrinated into the cult of woke you could maybe say cult slightly differently with uh, at least three of those letters anyway but sometimes a virtue signal goes so far that to me oh, i mean this is my personal opinion of course becomes denigrating and insulting to the people that they are attempting to include into their little cult club and believe me it is a cult this is uh from edge of spider verse number four now just to give you a little uh <laughs> a little bit of history on edge of spider verse issue three i don't know what issue one and issue two did and i and i can't be bothered to look because what i the information i have is is enough in itself but issue three introduced a uh, black, British, gay, female Spider-Man into the verse. This, Edge of Spider-Verse 4, introduces a disabled, white, female, gay Spider-Man. And next issue is going to introduce Liberace who's surprise surprise male not sure on their ethnicity at this moment in time gay Spiderman that's uh that's uh, uh you know for three percent of the population that's <laughs> that's some stats you got there rocking a rocking a quick at least 60 percent but there you go at least 60% in uh, five rags. Now, this one I want to focus on is the is the uh, female, white, disabled, gay uh, spider person thing. Because before I scroll down, <laughs> taste the rainbow. Uh, before I scroll down, look at this image. They have a <laughs> a wheelchair webbed to their back. They are using like polio crutches or whatever, you know, crutches. Let's just say crutches. Crutches to fire webs. Now, if this person needs the crutches and they need the wheelchair to get about, then they don't have any leg strength to carry them. Because they're relying on these devices to be able to walk or to wheel themselves. Why do I need to establish this? Because I'm sorry... And I, d I am not saying this in any way, shape, or form to be funny. I am not saying this in any way, shape, or form uh, to to uh, poke fun at disabled people, which I think this ultimately does. But I'm sorry, but these legs, they are flapping about in the wind. They're not being held together. They're just going to be flapping around and that's going to cause massive issues believe it or not when they're swinging because if they had the leg strength to control the legs they wouldn't need 
the crutches and they wouldn't need the wheelchair. So according to Marvel, this spider person is swinging around with their legs going like a fucking helicopter. To me, that's pretty insulting. You know, to me, that, 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 that is really kind of like poking fun and not understanding on realizing the actual uh, state of that disability. But they don't care because all they want to do is slap a disabled person into a magazine and go, hey, look at your representation. Please pat me on the back. Go on right there. Oh, right there in that big red sore spot where I keep patting myself on a daily basis every time I do. So go on, go on, tap it, go on, pat me. Then, just to, just to, you know, by the way, you're swinging around, you're swinging around town with a wheelchair stuck to your back. I don't think I need to go any further than that. I think that one speaks for itself. Now let's just elevate this because, you know, folks, just in case you didn't know that this person was good, uh, the, the magazine wants to really spell it out for you. So whatever they're going to, whatever party, wedding, I don't know what they're, I don't know what they're going to, but, you know, I don't know too many weddings that just happen on a fucking street corner. But okay, you know, this is Marvel and this is lazy. And, uh, you know, I think the artwork's okay for this figure, but the background is just crap and the colouring is just garbage. But look at this. They, they land wherever they want to land, you know, maybe with their legs broken in 68 fucking places. Uh, they get the wheelchair off and they put the uh, crutches down and they, then they get changed into their inclusive rainbow taste the rainbow all the letters of the alphabet dress just to make sure that you are fully aware and then they just go wheeling themselves down to this uh street corner wedding <clears throat> wow nothing wrong with having a disabled hero do you know, they, they did a great disabled hero in DC, then took it away. Who was that? That was Barbara Gordon. Barbara Gordon, who was shot. I think the killing joke came out in 89. Uh, I could be, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but she was shot, of course, by the Joker through the spine in the killing joke. Paralyzed. And then bound to a wheelchair unable to be Batgirl anymore. Not that I think she'd actually retired from Batgirl in that, you know, time period. Uh, she became Oracle. And she became a fountain of knowledge to all of the DC heroes that she would be codename Oracle. And then she would provide them with intel. Great character. Some great stories with her and Dick Grayson as, you know, they used to to date and, you know, Dick didn't want to look at Barbara any differently and they went on some good day. And there were some wonderful stories that were told. But then they stuck a magical chip in her, in her back and now she can walk again and be Batgirl again and yada, yada, yada. But that was a great way and it was an authentic way you know, you didn't see Barbara Gordon flying a batarang around the rooftops of Gotham with her legs fucking flapping around all over the place because the people that slapped this onto a page didn't think for three seconds. What you need to do is if you want to deal with a disability, you need to find an appropriate role for that hero. One that could be achieved and established not this 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 doesn't work this doesn't make sense and again all it comes across is condescending and insulting to people with a disability because you as in marvel were once again too quick to want to slap and pat yourself on the back 
and slap it on a page that you just didn't stop to think. Oh, this, you know, it, it's, a, it's a tired old story and I know, and, and you know, I'm not going to apologize because it's not me that's doing it. But, you know, we are so entrenched in this. There is absolutely no way whatsoever that this is being done for inclusion and diversity purposes. And we all know that. This has been done to water down Peter Parker. This has been done to water down the OG Spider-Man in an attempt to make him as irrelevant as all the absolutely ludicrous window-licking characters that they're trying to create for their Spider-Verse. We all know this. We all know that this is no longer an attempt by people with a... who are, you know, good-natured and, and, and who are uh, forward-thinking and, and wanting to just, you know, include a little bit here or there, just to show a little bit more. No, this is now complete and utterly people that hate the fandom people that hate the the uh everyone who has purchased a spider-man book a batman book a superman book and made them the cultural worldwide icons that they are today their bitterness about that their envy about that those characters that were created 80, 70, 60, 50 years ago that, is, that were, until these piss ants came along, still beloved. No, this is all in an effort to tear it down. This is all in an effort to twist it, turn it, rip it apart. One answer for this buy yourself some isom number one buy yourself some ripperverse buy yourself somebody who had the balls to create something new because this stuff folks is dead see you in the next video bye for now